Welcome guys to Irish Footy Vlogs, we have another video for you today, this time it's Belvedere, the top 10 players in my opinion of course that have played at Belvedere and I'm going to rank them as well, so let's get straight into the video guys. Now number 10 I've gone for Troy Parrish, we all know the talent Troy has and there's a good chance in the next few years he will rapidly move up this list that I'm doing today. But the young man's only 18, he was 17 whilst playing for the Irish under 21s which is remarkable when you think about it. He's played four times for the under-21, scoring four goals. Um, is there a chance we may not see him playing for the under-21s again? Possibly not. He made his full international debut in 2019 in a 3-1 win against New Zealand, which was um, massive for the youngster. He's part of Tottenham. He moved over to Tottenham Hotspur from Belvedere, so... Um, you know, they've got academy, obviously, in Tottenham. He'd be learning from top players and that. A lot of people could argue he could do maybe with a loan move, which is true, but I think if he is moving out on loan, he, they need to make sure he finds the right club, the suits the style of play, etc., etc. But um, obviously a hot prospect and one to keep an eye on in the future, Troy Parrott. Now, number nine, I've gone for Dara Lenehan. Dara is the brother of Mead senior footballer, Don Lenehan. He's the first Mead player to actually play for the Republic of Ireland as well, which is actually hard to believe. In 2018, he made his debut against the United States in a 2-1 victory for Ireland, and he was involved in the goal that Graham Burke scored as well. He's had two caps altogether. 15 under-21 caps for Dara as well. He's now 26 years of age. Centre-back Joy Blackburn in 2011, where he's gone on to make 143 appearances for the Lancashire side. And scored six goals. That's just league goals now. He did have a brief loan spell out at Burton Albion in between as well, where he made 17 appearances for the club. But um, he'll be a player. He's in the championship, obviously, obviously, with Blackburn as well. And he'll be a player that'll want to add to his Irish cap. So Darrell Lenhen in at number nine. Now, at number eight is Stephen Elliott. Stephen Elliott featured for Belvedere and Stella Maris, actually. But he moved to Man City in 2003, where he only made two appearances for the Manchester club. The Black Cats of Sunderland, I'm not even sure if they were known as the Black Cats at that time, but they certainly are now, um, was his major club from 2004-2007. He made 81 league appearances, scoring 22 goals. He also had spells then at Wolves, Press and Norwich City before he ended his career at Hearts and Middle Odeon. 56 league appearances, 11 goals for them. He ended his career in 2012. For Ireland, he had a great record of the Irish under-21 squad, actually, Stephen. Scoring six goals and 10 appearances, but never really... Feature properly for the Irish national side. Now, nine caps, don't get me wrong, and a goal, it, it's certainly not bad to get the nine caps. But I suppose he's part of an era where Ireland was strong in that area too. He did manage to score the winner against Cyprus in the World Cup qualifier in 2005, so he has that too. Um, and Stephen Elliott comes in at number eight. Now, number seven, I've gone for Killian Sheridan. Now, Killian has had less caps than Stephen, actually, but um, we're at a colourful career. He's 31 years of age and still playing. The Baileyborough man was at Celtic initially when he moved over to Britain, making 14 appearances for the Glasgow club, scoring four goals. He's six for five. He's a huge man. He had spells at Motherwell, Plymouth, St. Johnson before he moved to CKA Sofia of Bulgaria in 2010, where he made 19 appearances for the club, scoring four goals. He had another spell then in Scotland as well. Um, many trips abroad for Killian. It's a, it's really is amazing. I'm gonna butcher some of these names, but we we'll start off Apple Nicosia from 2013 and 15. He made 46 appearances, scoring eight goals in Cyprus. He stayed in Cyprus, but moved on 2015 to Omania, where he, he made 53 appearances, scoring 23 league goals. That's the best goal in score form in his career of his career so far. 2017, 2018, he moved to Poland, where he played for Jackalonia, making 52 appearances, scoring 17 goals. Um, he even got time to move down to New Zealand in 2019 with Wellington Phoenix, who actually played a trade in the Australian MLS, making 17 appearances, scoring one goal. And then he moved to Israel in 2019 and 20, playing for Aroni Kirat, scoring four goals, 15 appearances. He's now back in Poland, as we speak. Uh, eight appearances for Wisla Pluck, where he's scored 
one goal. And he was actually the first Irish player to score uh, since the pandemic as well. So that, that's, a, that's a good thing. But 10 caps for Ireland under 21s and two goals. And he's made three caps for the national senior side and hasn't scored a goal. So uh, there was a lot in that with Killian Sheridan. Very interesting career for a Cavan man, that's for sure. And number six, I went for Stephen Kelly. He's now 36 years of age. He's retired as a full back. Can play right back and left back. Uh, he spent six years at Tottenham Hotspur before he moved on to Birmingham City in 2006, where he made 79 appearances for the St. Andrews side. He had a good spell at Fulham. Went on to Rotherham and Reading also, where he ended his career. He ended his career at Rotherham, in fact. 17 caps for the Ireland under 21s. Uh, 39 caps for the Irish national side, which is very credible to say the least for Stephen Kelly. Kelly was a solid defender and his versatility helped him out too. As I said, he could play right and left back and was good going forward as well. So um, a good addition to this list. And number five, we've gone for Curtis Fleming. Might be a little controversial in terms of he's had, he's a full back as well, but he's had less caps than Stephen Kelly. He had 10 caps for the Republic of Ireland. But in my opinion, I feel he was a better player. He was part of an Irish era that had a lot of great full backs. So context can be everything in these lists as well. Um, fantastic career. Went to St. Patrick's Athletic. 122 sorry, league appearances for them. Won a league title. Spent 10 years at Middlesbrough where he played with the likes of Giannino and Ravinelli at one point and lost a few cup finals, had relegations, a lot of premiership football as well. Two t- 166 appearances in the league for Borough with three goals. He ended up playing for Birmingham, Crystal Palace, Darlington, back to Shelburne as well, and ended up at Billingham in the conference in England where he finished his career. He's also had um, coaching jobs, the likes of Middlesbrough, Palace, etc. And he's now in India. He's he's just um, taken up a side in India as well. He's become their manager. So, uh yeah, Curtis was a very defendable player. And I think in another era, he would have played more times for the Republic of Ireland too. And number four, I've gone for David Ford. David Ford was a very solid goalkeeper. He represented Ireland from 2011 to 2016. He made 24 caps. Could he have had more? Possibly. Um, the Galway native was a big part of the Derry City squad and played a lot of games for Derry City before he moved to Millwall in 2008. Between 2017, he made 299 league appearances for the for the London club. Just a very, very dependable keeper, I felt. Um, never let Ireland down when he played. Wasn't flashy or anything like that, but um, I think it's a good inclusion for this list. And I always felt he could have played in the Premier League, if I'm honest. Now, number three, I've gone for Matt Doherty. Matt, by the end of his career, could be higher in this list. Who knows? He's 28 years of old as we speak. He's been at Wolverhampton Wanderers since 2010. And he's really progressed with that club in that time and improved. He's come through everything. He was in the third tier of English football, actually, with Wolverhampton Wonders. And to come through and really develop as Wolves have improved and obviously got better and become a top 10, comfortably a top 10 club in the Premier Division and not only still be there, but now turn into one of the best right backs in the Premier League. I believe statistically... When it comes to assists and goals, he's the highest rated right back in the Premier League. It's great to see. And he's really, he could have fell by the wayside easily a couple of years ago, but he's really, really progressed with Wolves. And that's fantastic. He was their player of the year 2015 and 16. Um, 251 league appearance for the club and 20 goals. Um, for the Irish under 21s, actually, eight caps and four goals. And obviously for the seniors at this minute in time, nine caps and one goal. And I think he will be in the side very, very, very soon. So Mark Doherty in at number three. Now, number two, I've gone for Mark Kennedy. Now, many young people may not know Mark Kennedy, but Mark made 34 appearances for Ireland, scoring four goals. Now, Mark was a winger. He could play left or right, mainly left, though, and he was quite tall and strong for a winger and swashbuckling. But between 92 and 95, he played for Millwall. The London club, he made 43 appearances, scoring nine goals. That earned him a move to Liverpool, and at the time, he was the most expensive teenager. Cost 1.5 million. How times have changed. But um, he had a big reputation, and unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for him at Liverpool. In the three years he was at the Anfield club, he only made 16 appearances. 
So he moved on loan to QPR before he had a permanent role at Wimbledon. Now, Wimbledon were a Premier Division team at the side, uh, at the time, rather. Um, I remember at the time, I don't, didn't think he really suited their game. But anyway, done okay there. But 99, he had joined Manchester City, making 66 league appearance, scoring eight goals. Sadly, Kevin Keegan came in at City and just didn't fancy him. So he ended up leaving again. He had a very good career at Wolves, making 167 appearance, scoring 12 goals. He spells Crystal Palace, Cardiff, Ipswich before he retired to 12. Um, and Mark was a player that, number two in this list, probably... Should be number one in many ways because I don't think he fully realised the potential he had. I I think he had a lot more than he gave, essentially. Still had an excellent career. There's no doubt about that. But Kennedy in at number two. At number one, I've gone for Wes Houlihan. And the incredible thing, I suppose, about Wes Houlihan is he played for Shelburne to, to, between 2001 and 2005. And I've seen him play an awful lot for that Shelburne team, winning many titles featuring in the Champions League qualifiers against the likes of Deportivo La Coruña and doing very well. Um, you can see it from an early age that he was a player that was going to make it. I suppose he made it quite slowly in England, though. I expected him to make it more instant, believe it or not. He moved to Livingston in Scotland initially and did very well there before he moved to Blackpool. Came up through the leagues a bit with them. But he scored 13 goals in 87 league appearances for Blackpool. But he's more known for his spell at Carroll Road, Norwich City, 10 years, 2008 to 2018, making 323 league appearances, scoring 47 goals. I actually know some Norwich fans, proper Norwich fans, you know, who are English and from Norwich, who love Wes Hoolahan. Uh, very good on the ball. What can you say about him? His vision, his technique, his passing. Very, very good player. Underappreciated in Ireland? Probably so. He, having said that, he made 43 caps, scoring three goals. But it took a long, long time. I believe he was 30 when he made his Ireland debut. So if you think of it that way, yeah, you'd have to say so. He he made nine appearances for the under-21s, actually scoring one goal as well. But for the senior ranks, yeah, he probably should have played more often. A lot of those 43 caps are likely to be substitute appearances as well. Can't take away from the player he was, though. He was a fantastic player. Finished off at Newcastle Jets in 2019. And I think now he has a, a coaching academy as well at the moment. But um, Wes Houlihan, top pro. Um, and as I say, he'll probably a bit unlucky. If he, if he was actually in the Irish setup now and he was younger, it would suit him a lot better. But these things happen. So Wes Houlihan comes in at number one. Right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That's Belvedere, my personal top 10, all internationals. There's four more players as well at the club who are internationals as well. So really enjoyed that. And again, highlights the work of another very, very good club in Irish football and the work they've done. So, um, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you again. Thanks very much. Good luck.